It is minus 44 degrees Celsius, one of the coldest places on the earth right now. This is probably pretty dangerous. But before I get ahead of myself, I'm Tyler, this is Todd, and for the last three years we've lived here, smack dab in the middle of the woods, building an off-grid home made of shipping containers. And a few other things like our own food supply, a water source, and most recently our very own power supply, completely independent from the grid and monthly utility costs. But we've got a problem. With some of the coldest temperatures on record headed our way, we need to prepare for the impact. There is a lot to accomplish in order for us to safely ride the storm out. So now that you're caught up, come along and let's get to work. I wanna run away with you. I don't really care where to. Just wanna be alone with you. With such cold weather on the horizon, what we need to do today is replace this garage door that we have for the workshop. So when we connected the propane a few weeks back, we connected it to the workshop as well. And in that time, we've used 250 pounds worth of propane because it's just this really thin metal door. So today we're gonna to be replacing that with a full-fledged, insulated, proper garage door. It's gonna be a huge upgrade just in time for the cold oh, weather. Huge upgrade. They told me you had lots of lumber for me. Yeah, um, so we've got four two by fours. Okay. Um, if you need more, we can get more, whatever you need. Nothing like a little carpentry in the snow. Yeah. <laughs> nice setup. Yeah, we gotta rip some two by sixes down because we don't have enough two by fours. So we're gonna make our own. I just gotta remember a two by four is three and a half. So you're gonna make your own two by four out of two by six? Yeah. Very fancy. I mean, it's quicker than cutting down a tree, milling it, putting it in a kiln to dry it, and then trying to like get it stamped, you know, grade A lumber. How tall is the opening? Seven feet. Perfect. Yep. That was pretty painless. Tyler and Todd's lumber mill. <laughs> That's not big. Let's nest for the summer. Stop. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. It's just like paper. The OG paper makers. Imagine if the queen was in there, though. <laughs> oh, look. They're like little fossilized, dirty bastards. Murderers. <laughs> Did you have a zip saw? Like, I do. Like, I got a okay. saw there, yeah. I read online, like, don't attempt a garage door. <laughs> is that true? It is. It yeah. is. It's so finicky if you don't do it every day to get it just right. Yeah. And then when you're messing with springs and stuff, it can be dangerous. I've had horror stories, people oh. losing fingers. And... Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we had to frame in this opening. We had to stack four two by fours in order to make it a little bit smaller. The reason for that is the garage door that we went with, it's not wide enough to fit this whole space. But because of the curvature of the building, we didn't have room to go wider, so we're going in. All right, so we just gotta put one more collar tie in, which are these things that go across here that we cut out by mistake in the <laughs> spring. So we just gotta measure. Okay, so that's 113, and that gives me, all right, we went to 12 and a half. And then we did one, two, three, four and a quarter. Safety first, yeah. Nice, cool. What do you think? I love it. That looks really good. Very, very happy we made this decision. Yeah. So much light, hey? Mm-hmm. And we'll get to just sit and stare at these. Wow, what a beautiful day. Yeah. That is really pretty today. It's a good day. I can't get over how quick it comes together. <laughs> wow. Like if only every project was like this. Wow, what huge progress we're making in such a short amount of time. I'm loving the way the door looks. It's so much brighter in here. It's going to be so much warmer in here. It's just gonna be a really nice space once this whole building is done to 
work here and just like create and yeah I'm really excited it's actually the best of both worlds so I was really pushing to have garden doors installed because I wanted all that natural light to come in but Tyler wanted a garage door which does make sense because it allows us to lift it all the way up and get big items into here so I feel like this is the best of both worlds where we get Tyler gets his overhead door and I get my glass so we're both happy Wow, it's so smooth going up too. Yeah. So while Todd and Jeff are finishing up their garage door, I'm gonna get started on clearing off the panels. We're getting a lot more snow today than we expected. And with the storm coming, we want to ensure that the batteries are completely topped up. I just checked them, they're only at 76% and we're getting like between five and 10 watts worth of sun, which is like barely anything. So I'm gonna quickly scrape off the snow on the panels so we can really get these batteries topped up today. just as I finished the back row. Look at the front array. It's like already becoming snow covered again. This may be an effort and futility, but I'm gonna go check the battery building and see what they're at. So for only a few minutes worth of work of clearing the panels, we're getting 400 watts worth of solar, which is pretty good considering it's completely overcast and no sun at all and it's snowing. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. So. I mean, it's probably not gonna last very long because the snow is accumulating on the panels again, but we're also not using any power right now. We're outside, so for every hour worth of solar generation we're getting, that's heat that we'll be able to use to keep the dome warm in this big freeze. So we're learning the limitations of the system as we go. Look at this, it's opening. Looks really good. It'll be really quiet once I get some lubricant down there too. Oh yeah? The key to these things, especially if you're using this as an office and you want to keep it quiet, I'll leave you guys a can is spray lubricant for all the hinges. If it looks like it moves, spray it down twice a year, you'll never hear a noise out of it. Cool, okay. Wow. Because back in the day, people's garage doors, they'll make a racket. You can hear anybody coming home, but you can, a little bit of spray on all those parts and it goes a long way with that one. Awesome. A little bit of loop goes a long way. <laughs> Forever in the gutter. <laughs> it looks good. I'm happy with everything. Me too. It looks awesome. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You're good to go. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, My thank pleasure. you. This is awesome. Listen to how quiet it is. It's just so cool. Thanks, Holy, the weather really turned. The snow has come down so much that he's literally getting stuck on the way out. You got it? Barely. Wow. Thanks, drive safe. What a winter wonderland. <laughs> Look at how deep. I know. I just crazy. probably can't even see it, but that much has accumulated in that little time. Wild. Yeah, it was on the news that it was supposed to snow, but we didn't see it. Much of central and eastern Canada is in the grips of a polar vortex right now. Now that's all thanks to this Arctic front that's blasting through the region. People were feeling temperatures of about minus 43 this morning. So that is a historic cold, we're told. Uh, it's, it's unlike anything Halifax has seen before. Wow, it's such a beautiful day though. Yeah. All right, let's go warm up by the fire for a little bit. Yeah. And then figure out what we want to do with the rest of it. We still got lots of storm prep to do, love. Oh, it's something. <laughs> Todd just made such a good point, and I know when he sees this, he's gonna be like, what else is new? But 
with all the snow that's fallen, we really need to get a handle on it. If we don't start plowing that out of the way, it's going to be an absolute mess tomorrow, especially with the weather we're going to have. So while Todd does that, I came down to the dome to get us some fuel and get us energy going. And that's thanks to the sponsor of today's video, AG1 by Athletic Greens. If you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you know how much AG1 is a staple in our daily life. We've been having it every day for almost three years. Making it is an absolute breeze. All you do is pour 12 ounces of water, a scoop of the powder, you give it a shake, we like to put a little bit of ice in ours just to make sure it's extra cool and you're off to the races. After taking AG1 for so long, I can safely say it is a fantastic product. Not only does it make me sleep better, it gives me more energy. It puts me in a better mood every day after I take it. And the best part is it actually tastes great. I have tried so many different types of products like this and nothing compares to AG1. It's the most comprehensive, all-in-one nutritional formula. Make sure you check it out by clicking the link in the description box down below. By doing so, you'll get five free travel packs as well as a one-year supply of the vitamin D drops. I'm gonna get these shook up and head up to Todd. Some greens for my big greenie. That is some service. <laughs> Looks really good. Um, I don't know, we'll wait till spring and see how tore up the driveway is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. We haven't named her yet, have we? No, we haven't. Any suggestions, let us know. Yeah. You guys did a great job with Ruby. So. Yeah, we need some suggestions on what to name, so. All right. Did we're thinking maybe gonna... John. <laughs> 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 oh, you know what? I'm bored of plowing. Let's um go do something else. I never thought you'd say that, but let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it is wild how much the temperature has dropped in just a few hours. Look at this. The snow is sticking to the outside of the dome, which never ever happens anymore because it's the air temperature so warm. The PVC gets warm and melts the snow, but it's minus 15 out, so we still got a lot to go though. It's supposed to be much colder than that. <gasps> what are you doing, squirrel? <laughs> you chasing after me? Got she... too close to the tunnel. Yeah, she loves this thing. Whenever you walk by it, she lunges at you. Her home base. You're not allowed to attack her or like go after her. Even the boys, like they'll chase her and then stop once she goes in the tunnel. Um, it's kind of cute. Love this outfit. Oh, thanks. I'm trying to stay warm. This is layer one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, we got long johns on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Gotta stay warm. But yeah. I think we're gonna be able to do it. We've got some work to do, but I'm excited for it. We're gonna turn the dome into like cocoon mode and then just have a bunch of snacks and a bunch of movies and a bunch of snuggles. And I think it's gonna be great. Yeah, we kind of need to- a bunch of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well that was a good one. We need to get to work though. Um, there's a, a, a bunch we need to do in order to get ready for the cold, so we should probably get to it before it gets dark. All right, you ready? No. But All right, let's go. Let's get going, we procrastinated long enough. I know. Okay, let's do it. Firewood first. Oh, thought we'd start with something easy. <laughs> probably would have helped if we had the snowblower together. Instead, it accumulated more stuff. <laughs> it's so much easier doing like a huge load. Don't, don't say it. It's just, you know, it's exciting. You have a problem. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Wow, it's heavy. But I guess hard wood is. Another load? You know what? Mm. If I was alive in like Victorian times, I would have built a mansion too. Not to say I have a mansion, but I would have filled it like big enough with all my firewood for the year to be inside of my house instead of building a separate building house I could store it in. No, no idea. I know. God, I have so many good ideas. I should be an inventor. All right, so we brought in as much firewood as we can. We filled our entire compartment and have overflow right here. The goal is that hopefully this will get us through the next couple of days and minimize how much we have to go outside, opening the door, losing heat. 
Now we're gonna move on to the next task. So this summer when we replaced the liner, we asked the manufacturer if they could make a way to cover this great big window because it has zero insulating value to it. Like it's really nothing. Like it's just plastic. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. So what happens is we're able to keep heat in here until about minus 15, but as soon as we go past that, it gets really, really cold. So they made us these covers that go across the bottom and the top. We've never put them on, so. Hopefully they fit. I'm also really excited to see how it looks, but I'm also yeah. a little bit nervous on the flip because this is our alarm clock. We wake up when the sun comes up, so if we don't see the sun, we might just sleep right through the whole cold snap. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set you guys down and we're gonna get to work on installing this. Oh my goodness, squirrel. Hey, come on in. You ran out of here? Hey. hey. Welcome home, squirrel. Too cold out there, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Isn't she the prettiest squirrel on all the land? She's so cute. Making the view room before it's gone. Hey, little squirrel. I think that's the chalk. <laughs> what? Nothing. I didn't say a word. So we need to make sure that we get it in all the holes and that it lines up correctly. <laughs> Ladders are for city folk. We're country boys now. <laughs> People in Hawaii never have to cover their windows because the Arctic air is moving in. Yeah, really. Why did we choose here? Awful. Awful. That's why we chose. I think Charlie's response, you know, fight or flight, I think it's just freeze. <laughs> yeah. Come here, buddy. Oh, what a good big boy. That's what you were looking for. I gotta put my little booties on. Don't try and like pass this off, your little booties, as because it's cold. Tyler now fully wears Crocs. He's reached that point in his life. We don't even have kids. Wow, it's already warmer. Wherever you go, wherever you've been, I'll follow you. Alexa, in Halifax, what's the wind chill tonight? This evening in Halifax, Nova Scotia, you can expect windy weather with an extreme temperature warning of minus 44 degrees Celsius. Colors blur, memories fade, what we found is tends to stay. Hold me. That worked so well and it's also really beautiful. I kind of like it. What do you think? It's really nice. It's um, definitely different not seeing the view, but it's worth it. So when we didn't have that up, it was 12 degrees in here. It's now 19.5, but the hot tub is at 0.7, so. Oh, we need to light that, eh? Yeah, or do you want to drain it? Mm, I think it still has some life in it. Yeah, I mean, no yeah. point wasting the water. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we've ever mentioned this, but there's no chemicals in the water, so you can use it, like, a, get, I don't know, a bunch of times. Yeah, we get, like, a couple weeks out of it, depending on use, yeah. and, like, we can use peroxide, which isn't a chemical to clean it, but... Yeah. Oh, right. I need to bundle up. Oh, did you hear that wind? Yeah, she's howling it. Actually, that would be fun. Yeah, let's light it, get it hot. We should light the sauna, too. Would you venture out in the cold? Minus 44? <laughs> I can't believe it's going to be that cold. Um... I don't know, we'll see. Something about that sounds like an awful idea. Ooh. It sounds like a way to die. How did they go? I'm a sauna. <laughs> Doing what they love. Cheat me with a fire start. Like, I feel like, I feel like you really can't use a hot tub. We can try it. But like, wouldn't your face like... It's gonna be pretty cold. I'm gonna load it like as full as I can so we don't have to come out as often. It's a good idea actually. Wow, it is stunning right now. All right, so the sauna and the hot tub are heating up for us, but we need to continue securing the property and making sure everything is good. So we're up to the power building and this door right here really does not provide a whole lot of insulation. We're gonna have to replace this in the spring, same as the window, but you can see the ice built up all around here. So we've got a plan. We've got curtain rods, actually not curtain rods, they're shower rods. And I think it'll work, it'll do the trick, so. 
Better than nothing. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's get this set up here. So I'm gonna do the door first. I don't know what to do with the other one. We'll find a use for it. What a good idea this was. You're a genius, love. So it's actually gone up two degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. We don't know how to change the settings on this one, but it's gone up two degrees in here since we put the curtains up, which is huge. So definitely working. Yeah. All right, okay. let's go get wine. That'll help keep us warm too. <laughs> right out, honey. So pretty. Yeah, we got way more sun than I thought we did today. Got a little covered. <laughs> yeah. Again. Again. We try. Oh, the door just looks so good. It does. Pretty. Safe to say we need to do a cleaning out. We definitely need to clean out a little bit. Sounds like happiness. <laughs> I even left a little shopping bag here for days like this one. You gotta take more bottles than you have hands. Oh my. <laughs> wow. What a view. We ready? Ready. What now? Cozy up? Yeah. We done all our chores? Um, no, we have to get the stuff for the windows. What windows? The portal windows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's grab that. Okay. All in a day's work. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, the weather's really turning, so we're gonna quickly get all the rest of our stuff and head down. Yeah, and then, then it's time for snuggles and snacks. Yeah. Okay. So we made it back down to the dome and poured ourselves a nice glass of wine that we got from the workshop. Good call on that, by the way. Yeah, priorities, man. Priorities. <laughs> it's way warmer in here, though. Temperature update 20 degrees inside the dome and 6 degrees in the hot tub, which is awesome we're gonna try and even bump it up a little warmer though so we're gonna do the same thing that we did up in the power building and put a curtain on the door there's actually a lot of ice built up all around the frame and the glass this door is only a single pane glass like and it has no insulation in the metal either yeah like these are really they're designed for more moderate climates like minus 43 is really kind of pushing the envelope of what these are capable of but we're gonna do it we so. said we're gonna push back <laughs> <laughs> all right so we have this curtain and we have a bigger rod that we're gonna use to hold it up for the door um i gotta stop there's too many it's, there's too many there's just too many. too many you know and like what am i supposed to just let them go so what are you doing now making curtains <laughs> so this is more of the foam insulation like the um bubble wrap stuff and so we're just cutting it to squares and we're gonna fill the windows to keep the cold on the outside of the windows as well. Yeah, so same deal. See the ice building up here? See that? No, not it's the, Well, it's the exact same problem as the big window, but just on a smaller size. So every little bit of heat that we can keep in keeps it that much warmer when we're sleeping and not awake to tend to the fires regularly. Just like get in there and keep the cold out. Nice. Quieter too. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, way warmer. Instantly, eh? Instant. Given that it is minus 44 degrees Celsius, one of the coldest places on the earth right now. This is probably pretty dangerous, but the water temperature is 100 degrees warmer than the air. None of our skin is exposed, so we're gonna try it. I'm like chattering, it's so cold. Let's give her a go. You wanna try? <laughs> hey, let's do it. <laughs> It's so cozy, like underneath the water, it's just like having a blanket pulled over top of you, but then there's the part of my skin, like my eyes that are exposed, that makes my eyelids feel as though they're freezing shut. You so I kind of- You can see the frost all around like your face. I can't see it, but I'm gonna take your word for it. Can you feel it? <laughs> I can feel something, <laughs> and it's the last of the feelings that I've got. Holy, it is so cold, but honestly, it's so nice in the hot tub. Like, it's just warming my soul. Yeah. Um, we were just talking about all of the little critters and the animals out in the forest. Like, they, everyone just must be in their burrows, like, 
nestling uh, in. Unless they put a hot tub in this summer and then they're just warming <laughs> up in it too, you know, little porcupines and skunks <laughs> having a little soak. <laughs> I doubt that. Oh, the low battery is on again. Again? We just changed the battery before we came out here. I think it's so cold that, like, electronics can't even function. Well, I can hardly function, so I don't blame the electronics. Yeah, my hand is freezing <laughs> off holding you guys. Um, I think we're going to let you go here and pick you up next Sunday. Hopefully we make it through this <laughs> polar vortex. If not, we'll be in the hot tub. Thaw us out in the spring. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye. <laughs>